Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Adriana. Hello, Miguel. Andrea, Jennifer. Hello there. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good, good to see you. Hello, Luis. Hello, good evening. Hello, Mayra. Good evening. Ileana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good Mayra. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Eliana. Uh, Miguel, hello, Miguel. Hi there. Hello. Hi, Good. hi David. Hello, Claudia. Hi. Hey, congratulations. You're on time. I really appreciate that. Uh, well, my camera is still on the way of creating problems. I don't know what's going on. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. And I have 10 people connected and that's awesome. Hello, Carla. Good to see you now. Uh, good night. Well, good evening, teacher. Uh, Hello, good evening. I'm sick. I'm very sick. I'm sorry to know about it. Um, okay, thanks. Hope you get well soon. Mm, okay. In Spanish? Yeah. Espero que se recupere pronto. Gracias. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome back. Let me see. Uh, we're going to start as quickly as possible with the homework assignment. You know, uh, meanwhile, the rest of the people got there. We need to do something over here, right? So we need to start working on the activities that we started yesterday. And Ileana, I wonder if you remember about the activity for today? Uh, yes, it was about how was our last vacation. That was the first, but we actually we do had two homeworks, right? Ah, uh, yes. The second one is to make a list of ten um, of ten regular verbs. Uh, all right. I, I didn't mention anything re re related to pronunciation. Ah, uh, and oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is all about? What is it? Who remembers about pronunciation of regular verbs? What was uh, the we, number? We have to investigate about the pronunciation of uh, regular verbs. Exactly. You were in charge of investigating about the three pronunciation of regular verbs in the past form. Raise your hand if you did it. Raise your hand if you did it, if you investigated. Okay, David did it. Uh, only David? What about the rest? You, did you do the homework on pronunciation? Okay, Ileana did it. Very good, Ileana. David did it. Ileana did it. What about the rest? Only two people? David, Ileana. Who else? Well, you know... Uh, we're going to start talking a little about what happened during your last vacation. And little by little, we're going to move on and start talking about the, the transition of regular verbs in, in, in past. Okay. Now, um, Catherine. Good evening, Catherine. Let, just let us know about what you did during last vacation, please. Vacation time. Vacation? Yeah. Vacation okay. time. What um, happened? <laughs> uh, on my vacation, I went to Sunganera Beach and Department of La Paz. Good. I also went to the swimming pool in and it was in the Department of La Paz with the family to have a Seafood lunch at the San Luis Herradura. Um, Pierre also to a tour of Ataco and Huayua. That's what you did. 
Excellent. Pretty good. Congrats. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Catherine, choose the second participant, please. We're going to continue. We're going to listen to three people talking about past vacation or the last vacation. Mm. Choose somebody from the group. Francisco. Francisco, go ahead and let us know about what you did during <laughs> last vacation. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Uh, okay, um, on my, um, my vacation, I went on a trip to visit my brother in Houston. And there, when there we went to visit uh, many places, so, uh, such a uh, beach, restaurant, bars, and nightclub. Um, I stayed, I stayed, I stayed it for a week and returned on January 2. That's right. Okay, Francisco, quite good. Excellent. Info. Now, uh, Francisco, choose the last person that's going to share information about last vacation. Choose somebody from the group, please, Frank, Francisco. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh... What uh, um, I don't understand. Can you mention someone, a classmate? Choose okay. somebody. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whoever. Okay. Um, I don't know. Adriana Gretel. Okay, Adriana. Go ahead. Hi, good evening, everybody. Um, uh, well, in my last vacation, um. I went to my mom's house and the next day we went with my old family to the beach because my aunt was having a birthday and at nine we ate pan con pollo with soda and a lot of snack. Around 11 30 p.m. we were seeing happy birthday and she was very happy that and that's why I eat um, cake. And the next day we went to walk to the beach and we were building, sailing, and Castillo. How do you say? See, si Castillo de Arena. Sand Castle. Sand, sand Castle. And also we playing in the beach and uh, swimming in the pool. After that, at noon, we went to having lunch and a nice, a nice restaurant in front of the beach. Uh, speaking for myself, it was very, very nice because I, I felt, no, I stayed with my family and I felt very comfortable with, with us. And at night, we return home and we eat pizza and soda. That's it. You eat or you ate? Ate. I ate some pizza, right? Pretty good. Excellent. Excellent info. All right. So, you know, sharing information about last vacation was fantastic. Uh, for sure, we're going to have more activities in which um, you can participate. If you couldn't participate tonight, you... You can do it later, but uh, later on, I will ask to, to provide some information about pronunciation or regular verbs, all right? So we're going to start. Now, yes, I have uh, 14 people connected, and I think that's better. Eh, activities for this week, people. Who can tell me about the activity for this week? Activity for this week? Do the exercise of platform. All right. That's, that's quite important, right? Uh, to solve the activities in the platform, to see the videos in the platforms, to keep studying the information that's in the platform. And if you want to complement with extra information, you can solve the internet 
Uh, you can look for uh, uh, other examples and uh, some other exercises, and that's fun. That would be fantastic, right? Uh, but there is another activity for this week. Who knows? Who remembers? No one? The birds in the bus? Mm, no. And if I'm not mistaken, if um, any and someone. Any and someone? Mm, well, th those are the topics, right? But activities for this week, you have. I, I think um, it is a test. Yeah, they, if you, you have the, the midterm. All right, you, you have the midterm and also you have all the activities that are in the platform. All right, so for this occasion for tonight, uh, we're gonna talk a little about there is and there are, all right? Uh, but before, let me see. Well, actually, we're going to start talking a little bit about how to provide uh, directions in English, right? You will listen to a conversation between neighbors, asking about places in town, pay attention to there is, there are, a one, any, and some, okay? So what can you tell me about your neighborhood? What can you tell me about your neighborhood people? Well, we're gonna see this question, uh, this conversation in order to get familiarized with, with the activities that we are just facing tonight, okay? And as you can see, there is a, what do you think they are talking about? What do you see in the picture actually? Um, I think the, the man is asking for directions to the old woman. Yeah, what do you see in the picture? What do you see in the picture? It's the people uh, who live in our neighbor. Uh, there are two people. Uh -huh. Maybe they are neighbors. Uh -huh. But they are talking about something. What do you think they are talking about? Direction. Directions. Uh, Who's lost? Who's lost? Jack. Jack is lost. And the lady? What is the lady doing? Give direction. Ah, she's providing some direction. So let's see if you if you just got exactly what's in the conversation. Okay. Now before uh, listen to it. I will ask two people to I read know. it in advance, all right? And I will ask David and Carla. David, read, please. You start, David. Excuse me. Uh, uh, give me one second, give me one second, David, because, because I know, I know what's the problem. Give me one second. Okay, now yes, right? Hey, hey, people, do me the favor to deactivate your microphone. If you're not participating, remember. Uh, thank you, Josue. Thank you very much. Okay, David, now yes, I think that you are more than ready now. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. Just moved in. And then Carla, right? Hi. I, I said <clears throat> Carla. Who did I say? Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one 
actors from from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, oh, oh, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. A barber shop. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna listen to it. Okay, and pay special attention to the expressions with there is and there are, right? And now here we have, for example, are there any around here? Are there any around here? That's the first, right? Yes, there are some. Yes, there are some. Uh, and is there a laundromat near here? Is there? I think there's contractive form. There's one across from the shopping center. Okay, and by the way, there's a barber, there's a barber shop, etc. Right. So you can as you can see, we, we have the expression there is and there are in the conversation. Do you listen to it? Not that you're right, can no, uh, no. Okay. okay, give me one second. Once again, I have problems with it. I think I solved it. So, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? All right. Okay, so... As you can see, we 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 have a, what's your neighborhood like? Okay, that's actually our topic for tonight, and we're gonna go over the um, the the grammar itself, okay? Because uh, we are going to be in charge of learning how to ask and answer question with there is and there are, okay? And we will see this video. Okay, we will see the grammar for tonight and then we are going to practice a little bit, okay? Let us see. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between on the corner of. If you want to know if there All right. 
So we're going to go over it, okay? Is there a laundromat near here? Is there, okay? How do you answer to this question, people? Hello? Yeah. Repeat again, please. Now, how do you answer to the first question? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Now, if we want to answer in a native form, how do you answer? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. But there's one yeah. next to the library. Now, this is as you can see. This is the this is used for singular uh, nouns, right? Is there? Yeah. But if we have plural grocery stores, okay, more than one. So then we say, are uh, there? Are there any grocery stores around here? What's the what's the positive answer? Yes, there are. Yes, uh, there are. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Or no, no they are. aren't any. No, there aren't any. All right. So, yes, there are period. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, no, there aren't, comma, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. So, you have three possible answers, right? Now, and we have some prepositions such as on, next to, near, close to, across from, Opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, or behind. It, it, actually, this one it can be pronounced in both ways. Behind or behind. Between, on the corner of, of, on the corner of. All right? So, as you can see, this is this is not that difficult. And it's, it helps us to... Um, to describe, to describe what's in our neighborhood, right? What is there in our neighborhood? Le le we later, we're gonna we're going to see. You are going to provide some info about the place where you live. Now over here, is there a knee here? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Let's Answer, see. Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right, so this is the information about uh, how to provide information on your neighborhood. We're going to practice over here, okay? We're going to practice over here. We have um, this image, all right? And um, just, you can go over the platform also in order to see it better, okay? And uh, if I ask you, where is the where is the public library? Okay, can, can you see the image, people? Can yes. you see? Yeah. yeah uh, no, where is the where is the gas it? station? It is next to the gas station. What about the shopping center? Shopping center is behind the gas station. Ah, it is behind, is behind to the shopping center. I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, the shopping center uh, is behind the gas station. The gas station in is front, in, front, in front of. Or in front of. Uh, yeah. 
That's right. Now, what about the the electronics or the, the ele post office? The post the post office. Where is the post office? Is from up the plaza or Main Street? It's on yes. Main Street in front of near the Joy Gym. Oh, it's it's just next to Joe's gym or the post office yeah. is on Main Street, just in front of what is what's what is there in front of the post office, people? Park. Ah, uh, it's a park, right? Just just in front of the park. Good. Now, it, it, well, you can see we have um, the drugstore. Where's the drugstore? It's between the grocery store and top shoes. It's between the grocery store and the top shoes. Okay, it's on Second Avenue, right? Very good. So you see, it's not that difficult, right? So and we are going to try, try to try to get as much info about this map because we are going to use it in in the following exercise. Okay. Now let us see. Let's see if we can if we can solve it. Now, for example, this this is a this is like a a, a short conversation, right? Is there a knee here? And you have the answer, right? Yes, there is one. It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. What is there? A library, a hotel, or a park? Hotel. Hotel. So we have the hotel. Yeah. The hotel. In the second one, is there a, around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to the Price's grocery store. What do we have there? Is there a bank, a gym, or a laundromat? Bank. Next to Prince grocery store. Teacher, we don't yeah. see. Oh, okay, okay. Is uh huh? Where is it? Bank. So we have a bank. Yeah. Yeah, it's over here, right? The Prince grocery store. Now, number three. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. It says there is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. What 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 is there there? What do you see there? Oh, the department store. Uh, there is a department. Is there a department store? All right. Is there a department store near here? Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's drugstore. Number four, not the, let me see. There is one on First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think we have there? Cafe, gas station, or hotels? Gas station. We have a gas station. Number four is on First Avenue and Main Street. First Avenue and Main Street. Is that right? Post yeah. office. Yes. Post, post office or bus station? We have post, post office. office. Let me see. Let me see the, the difference. We have a park, Joe's gym, or a department store. Joe's gym. Park. Park. Let us see. Let us see once again. You see the park? Yes. Park. 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 Okay. No, Gracias. actually, no. It's, this is number Take three, right? Number four. Oh. We are in the number three or number four? Number three, right? Number, number four. Park. Number three. What's the answer? Park. The park. Department 
in the number no, four? Number three, number third, I'm sorry, what? Department store. Oh, it was the department store. store. Yes, that's right. And the number four? Gas station. Okay. We have the gas station. Number five? Gas there are some store. nice nice stores on Pine Street. Grocery Pine store. Street. Have grocery store. Uh, gym, just gym. Okay, let me see the options we have here. Hotels, public library, or grocery stores. Grocery store. Grocery store. It has the grocery store, right? Number six. Uh, it is between the post office and all this department store. We have three options, the gym, so the gym. shoe store, or grocery store. Gym. 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 Joe's gym. Joe's gym. Joe's gym. Right. Joe's gym, all right. Number seven. Is there a on Second Avenue? No, there is, and there is one on First Avenue. Avenue across from shopping center. We have electronic store, park, or the bank. Electronics store. We have the electronic store. Okay, if you disagree, just let me know it. And in the number eight, there is a, there is one, it should be like, it should say like one at the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. What do we have there? What is there? Public library, payphone, or drugstore? Payphone. Payphone. Yeah, pay the payphone? Yes, payphone. And number nine, yes, there is one next to the gas station. What is there next to the gas station? The hotel, the cafe, or the public library? Public library. Public library. Public next library. to the gas station. Public library. That was the easiest one, right? And the last one, there are some on Ma Maple Street. Are there any on First Avenue? Restaurants. Restaurants, okay. gas station, or grocery store? Restaurants. 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 All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, in the first one, is there a hotel near here? Okay. A bank. Is there a bank? Is there a, a department store? Is there a gas station? Is there a, a, are there a grocery stores? Is there a gym? Wow, people, no, no, no problems with it, right? Number seven, electronics store. Good. Payphone public library okay. and restaurants, pretty good. Now, let us see, we're going to start uh, working a little bit on something over here. Vamos a empezar a trabajar en algo eh, ahorita. Les voy a dar que, que 10 minutos, 10, 12 minutos, para que ustedes comiencen a describir su vecindario, ¿ok? Su vecindario, pero, Acuérdense que todavía tenemos pendiente eh, el pasado simple. ¿Sí? No lo vamos a soltar todavía. ¿Ok? Porque necesitamos eh, practicarlo. Entonces, por ejemplo, si ustedes nos hablan de su vecindario, nos dicen, bueno, en mi vecindario hay una iglesia. Por ejemplo, hay una iglesia. En esa iglesia, pues, nosotros visitamos, mi abuelita y yo visitábamos... Eh, Dicha iglesia todos los domingos. ¿Qué tiempo estoy usando? Pasado. Pasado. ¿verdad? Pasado simple. Entonces, 
vamos a usar lo que estamos viendo ahorita, there is, there are, there, there is some, etc., lo que estamos viendo ahorita, pero al mismo tiempo, pues vamos a recordar qué es lo que hacíamos en, 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 en ciertos lugares de nuestro vecindario. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, we played soccer on the streets. Well, I remember, I, I, will, try to, I will try to remember what, what I usually did in the past, okay? It's like, you know, in my neighborhood, there are uh, different places. As there are churches, there are pharmacies, there are bus stations. And, you know, in my neighborhood, uh, there are uh, streets also. And I remember my friends and I played soccer on the street. I don't know if you did it, but I, ju but, but I used to do it in the past. Ok, entonces estoy describiendo qué es lo que hay en el vecindario pero al mismo tiempo estoy usando pasado simple, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a invertir por lo menos unos 12 minutos para que ustedes hagan una introducción, ¿ok? Usen todo lo que tengan a la mano, ¿ok? Um, dictionaries, um, translator, whatever you want to use, ¿ok? Use it now. Cuando pasen esos 10 minutos, yo voy a empezar a preguntar qué es lo que ustedes tienen, ¿ok? All right, so we let us start just right now. Okay. Okay. Ten minutes, people. Ten. Hey, you will be able to read the info now, but tomorrow you won't read the info. Uh, ahora van a poder leer el, eh, por lo menos lo que han creado en la clase, pero mañana que vuelva a preguntar al respecto, lo van a decir, lo van a tratar de decir sin leer.
get ready. Okay. Try to practice the right pronunciation of the words that you are studying now. Raise your hand if you finished, so that I can notice about it. Really good, Ariana. Great, Eliana. Well, you know, this is just for you to start uh, thinking about what's coming tomorrow, okay? Because actually this activity needs to be presented tomorrow. But as far as I could see, Ileana is done and also Adriana, right? I, I wonder what you got, Adriana. Can you share what you got, please? And after uh, Adriana, Ileana, get ready, please. Okay, and my neighborhood is very small. It is a made of a dirty passenger. And back in time, I played with my neighbor Gabby and someone status. But nowadays, they decoded and put a lot of planes. And I remember that I played Mika with my friends in the park. And I bought a lot, a lot of snack with her. Fantastic, oh. Adriana. Hey, you know that was quite good. You just, uh, you, you you use the simple past tense, and the pronunciation was quite good. For tomorrow, Adriana, remember that we need to combine. There is, there are, uh, the the there isn't. Okay, or oh, there aren't, etc. What we have started tonight, and you need to include um, such grammar into into your presentation tomorrow. All right. Okay, very good, Iliana. It's your turn. Okay. Um, in my neighborhood, there is a plaza where you can find restaurants and a drugstore. Next to the plaza, there is the supermarket. And on Main Street, you can find different restaurants uh, with Mexican, Salvadorian, and Chinese food. Also, there is a park. And in front of the park, there is a football field. Um, also, in front of the park, there is a gym, and that's all. <laughs> Pretty good, Eliana. Now, uh, on the contrary, I mean, you did the contrary about what Adriana uh, did, right? I think you, 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 I mean, that that was quite good. I mean, the information is it was really nice. But in your case, you need to include about some memory regarding to to your neighborhood, right? Maybe it's something that happened a couple of years ago that you, that you remember, but what really matters is that you use simple past tense because you know, uh, in, in this course, we're not gonna take for granted that 
Uh, we studied uh, simple past yesterday, and today is, we are going to study, uh, or I mean, we started uh, studying about there is there are, and we forget about simple past. No, it, it doesn't work that way. You know, uh, if we study simple past yesterday, we need to continue studying simple past today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. I mean, every single day, because English needs to be uh, spoken and used um, in Every, every day, I mean, you need to put it to practice. Um, all, we study it in the class uh, every single day. All right. Is there, a, is there any other participant who wants to provide info about neighborhood? What's your neighborhood like? What is it all about? No? Francisco, do you get something? Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Um, my neighborhood there are there are uh, two parks. Uh, from the parks are one uh, grocery store. I I go I went uh I went um going to the grocery store buy anything. And the park we are uh we are uh, going with my dogs to play and working. And the neighborhood too, there are a pools. Um when I my I when I be sick, no, I went in with my children going when they living here. All right. Very good. Hey Francisco, one question. With singular nouns, what is the expression that we use to to, I mean, if I say a book, do we say there is or there are? There is a book or there are a book? Uh, a simple, uh, I think is that there is. Exactly, singular, right? Mm -hmm. If I say yeah. church, church. Church. There is church. or there are? Church, uh, there are, in plural. No, in singular? Singular? Yeah. Church. 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 There is a church. There is a church. There okay. is a church. If I say cars. There's car. There are, there are cars. Ah, there are cars, right? Cars. So really good. And don't worry, because we, we have just started uh, working on uh, what's your neighborhood like. De hecho, esa es la tarea que, que tienen para el día de mañana, que nos describan eh, su vecindario, ¿ok? Nos pueden hablar de los, de los edificios, eso está muy bien, para que practiquemos there is there are, ¿ok? Nos pueden hablar de qué memorias vienen a su mente cuando, cuando este... Hablan de su, de su neighborhood, de su vecindario. O sea, yo, ahorita dicen mi vecindario, ok. Eh, hay muchos lugares y hay muchas cosas que han sucedido ahí, ¿verdad? Si ahí hemos crecido, imagínense cuando jugábamos escondelero con nuestros amiguitos cuando, cuando éramos pequeños. ¿verdad? O sea, hay mucho que recordar. Entonces ahí vamos a estar amarrando el tema que comenzamos eh, la semana pasada que es pasado simple con lo que tenemos ahora, que es there is, there are, eh, eh, etc. ¿Ok? Y así vamos a ir este, viendo cómo, cómo vamos este, practicando lo que estamos aprendiendo continuamente. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, eso sería para el día de mañana que ustedes nos hablen de, de su vecindario. Además de eso, pueden hablarnos de cómo son las personas en su vecindario. ¿Ok? Eh, es algo que no aparece en, 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 el, en la plataforma, pero igual, nosotros debemos de dar un plus, debemos de dar más, siempre dar más. Ok, okay el teacher está pidiendo acerca de, de, del neighborhood, ¿de qué puedo hablar acerca de, de mi vecindario? ¿Es solo hablar de los edificios? No. Pues hemos estado estudiando el pasado simple, entonces le voy a incluir esto. Okay. Y también en el vecindario hay gente que yo quiero mucho, hay gente que, 
Bueno, ustedes sabrán qué tipo de persona hay en su vecindario, ¿verdad? Si hay en algunos vecindarios los, los vecinos, pues que, que hay veces que ni se hablan <ríe> entre sí. Entonces ustedes nos van a contar qué es, qué hay en su vecindario, ¿ok? De eso se trata. Miren, voy a pasar la lista. Y ayúdenme, por favor, díganme. How many places in the homework? How many? Places. Uh, only about your neighborhood. Only about your neighborhood. I mean, you can say there is a church, there is a park, there is a grocery store, there is, there is, there is, there are, etc. Okay, and then you can talk about what you remember um, uh, about, about the neighborhood. Thank you. All right. Well, help me with the list of tenants, please. Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabriela, hello Gabriela. No, Gabriela is not in the class. Glendy Elisette. Present. Ileana Beatriz. I'm here. Irving Hiroki. Hey, I didn't see Hiroki tonight. Hiroki, are you there? No, Hiroki is not here. Jennifer Raquel. I'm here. Jonathan Vladimir. Hello, Jonathan. Él escribió que no iba a conectar, si creo. Ah, Jonathan. Eh, Josué Miguel. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Tatiana. I am. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luis Ariana. Luisa. Mayra Patricia. Present. Yeah. Eh, Nerling. Present teacher. And Jancy. I'm here. Good. Now we repeat. People, I didn't notice if they were in the class. Gabriela Guadalupe. Hiroki. Jonathan Vladimir. Luisa Ariana. And that's it. Okay. Well. Present. Luisa, Luisa, are you there? Present. Here. Oops, okay. Don't worry, I will, I will check it later, Luisa. Now, how was tonight's class? How do you feel? That's so good. <laughs> that was good? Yeah, so, so. I so, was so. Uh, the bad internet. Ah, uh, you had a bad experience with internet. Don't worry, you know, everybody, there is a time in which Everybody faces problems with the internet and Zoom. Si ustedes se fijan, hoy he tenido problemas. Bueno, la semana pasada y esta semana he tenido problemas con Zoom. Pero gracias a Dios ha sido solo con la cámara. De hecho, algunos de ustedes también veo que, que se les distorsiona la imagen. Y es porque me imagino que Zoom está experimentando eh, algo, ¿verdad? Y eso nos está afectando. Es la señal. Es la señal posiblemente. Ok. Pero lo bueno es que pues la hemos pasado bien nuevamente. Eh, no sé si tienen preguntas, comentarios. Este viernes va a haber clases también, ¿verdad? Sí, este viernes vamos a tener clases. Okay. Eh, esta semana tenemos el midterm, ok, 
y siempre las actividades de, si ustedes se fijan, los compañeros de soporte técnico siempre están en, eh, este, recordándonos, haciendo algunos, eh, perdón, algunos recordatorios en WhatsApp, porque para nosotros es de suma importancia de que ustedes se conecten a la clase a tiempo, que hagan las actividades, que desarrollen las, los exámenes, porque hay un récord, ¿verdad? Un récord de ustedes que se está guardando y al final pues todos queremos que ustedes sean promovidos al nivel eh, inmediato superior, ¿verdad? No queremos que nadie pues eh, se quede y, y, y pues que lo importante es que sigan avanzando en el aprendizaje de un segundo idioma. Dicho esto, pues no sé si ustedes tendrán algo que aportar, algún comentario. Y si no, pues, let us see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Night. Good hey, night. Ahora, le, ahora les hizo falta café. <laughs> Probably. It's Probably. Monday. Yeah, it's, Mondays are difficult. <laughs> oh. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Good, Good night. night.